Hey everybody, welcome back to DM Farms. It's a uh, gorgeous Sunday out today, 28 degrees Celsius, and uh, it's square baling weather, weather here. We are uh, baling up our hay. We already got two wagons full on our last one. I didn't have time to film because it's uh, been pretty busy and hot and sweaty, so. Just getting to film now, we got about another 100 bales to go or so. Uh, right now I think we have about 450 and we need, um, we're looking for 553, although we'll probably bale 560 just to have a few extra. Tomorrow uh, we got a uh, semi truck coming. We're gonna load all 550 onto it. Uh, and then that's gonna head down to North Bay. We got a client down there for that. And then uh, that's all we do for squares. We just do a few 500 squares for her. Just for the record, this is a very first I've ever seen mom help go with hay, so uh, this is uh, making history right now as we speak. We just finished square baling. I'm off to go get the round baler. Alrighty, well. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the round baler. And those are round bales. We're baling. I got 49 bales so far off this field, and that's on top of the 550 squares we did already this morning. Uh, the time is currently 5.15. And we are hoping to get this all done today, which I think we will, as long as there's no problems. And I'm keeping the speed down, don't worry. So I think we'll be good to go. came out 
machine's running good and we're gonna keep on hauling so this is a row belt 450 for those who don't know awesome baler highly recommended if uh, you're getting into farming or uh, want to upgrade your baler uh, the biggest bale that this does is 4x5 uh, you can adjust it from anywhere down to half that down to 30 inch bales if you'd like um, you set your size in inches and you do that through the monitor so I can change the bale size right now if I'd like to you change how many times it wraps um, we like to keep it at around uh, two and a quarter wraps um, we have done one and a half before, but I just find it turns out a lot nicer if you do uh, two, and, two and a quarter. And uh, we don't mind paying a little extra for uh, net wrap. I know some people uh, who have net wrap balers, they, uh, they go three wraps. I mean, two and a quarter works perfect for us. I mean, you can look at these bales here and they're coming out pretty perfect uh, for our standards. And uh, I just can't, I, once again, I just can't believe how much hay there is. I thought it was going to be a total uh, write off this year and that we would have no hay because of how dry it was. Normally for hay you want to get the rain when it's young, um, mainly in the spring or you want to have a, a lot of snow, um, which we didn't have. We didn't have much rain in the spring or uh, much snow to begin with. So I'm surprised it turned itself around even though uh, it can't have been over already and I guess it's still got the water and it she grew. we go here's the veil looking good nice and tight these we we bail so they're around 750 pounds good size for us that we like we just uh finished our north field we got 111 bales uh off that one field that is uh pretty good i must say i'm very 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 impressed and that's after the 550 uh squares we took off of it so Lots of hay, it's excellent. I'm very uh, thrilled with the yield that we ended up getting. Uh, Dad's just gonna fill, finish up this little middle part here and then he's gonna head over to the south field. Uh, that's about 10 acres or so. We're gonna get that done hopefully before the sun goes down, um, before the dew sets in, and then we're all done the hay that we cut, which is awesome. Uh, Cause then it leaves us free. We can start moving bales. I'm probably gonna start moving some bales now. And it uh, just takes the stress off of us for uh for now <laughs> until the next cut so i'm gonna go have some uh, dinner quick and we'll get back right to it well ladies and gentlemen i ended up loading 17 bales on this trailer we're gonna go deliver the first 17 to one of our customers down the road so it's been a long three days cut rake and bale plus the spraying in there I'm a bit tired, but you know what? We got the job done and that's what matters. Dad's finishing up the south field. Uh, I think the bale counts up to around 150, uh, 55 acres, which is amazing. So uh, he's just coming out now, I think, or not. Well, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go grab one of the square bale wagons with the telly. It's got a hitch on the front. So uh, try to make the most of my time here while, uh, while we can. That's how you move hay with a telehandler. Good! Stop! Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the 12th now, fourth day. It started around 8 a.m. here. We're unloading the uh, wagon. We already got that one unloaded. That one's still to go, and this one's about half done. 
We got the truck here from Tobler Trucking. They have this walking floor trailer which works awesome. And uh, we're loading. Uh, hey! All the bales here this floor moves right it's a walking floor so those bales will come back to us over here but yeah that's pretty cool the hay now at one of our clients farms um, yeah so I got the Merlot here and we're stacking four high this is pretty cool I've never gone more than three and uh, I gotta say four high is pretty freaking cool so thought I would show you guys this got a few more to stack up there and then we'll try to toss some up on this row but uh, these are bales that were just baled yesterday so very fresh hay and uh, I think the horses will love it Let's unload some more bales.
Alright everybody, it's uh, almost 1 a.m. now and uh, we're calling it quits. We got all the ground bells moved. Hay, the main hay is pretty much done. We have about 40 more acres or so to cut. We'll probably cut that uh, next weekend. It's Monday right now. We got a few days for a break so uh, we're going to enjoy it. So uh, that being said, this concludes our video. Thank you uh, for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.